Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is stuck on configuring. So if the game is stuck over here, then please follow the steps shown in this video. And this is happening with many players uh, after disabling crossplay. So if you have disabled crossplay, you might face this problem. Uh, so to fix it, you can rename or delete the skate folder in this location. Now for this, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, open the local folder. Over here, you can see the skate folder. Now create a backup first so you can copy this folder and maybe you can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can rename this folder or you can even delete it. The game will start from scratch. You will lose all the save game progress. Now you can rename it and then you can launch the game and then you can check. In my case, I'm not able to do so because the game is running over here. So you can close the game and then try to rename it and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to go to accessibility option in the game. So go to accessibility option and over here you can change the language. Just change the language over here and then hit apply over here. And when, once you hit apply, now you can go back and then try to launch the game. Try to check if it is not stuck, like if it is resolved, uh, once you are able to launch the game, you can go to options once again and you can change it back to the original language. For me, it's English and then hit apply. You can even Try this uh, on this screen, go to accessibility option once again. If that does not work, if the language change does not work, you can reset to default. Just click on reset to default and then you can try to start the game. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to, now for Steam users, uh, you can change the language in Steam. If you have the game on Steam, make a right on the game, select properties. You can select any other language over here. And once you change the language, uh, it will go through an update and let the update complete then launch the game once you are able to launch the game you can uh, try to enable the cross play or check if and once you are able to launch the game you can close the game you can switch it back to the original language and then check now still not working the next step is to if you have the game on steam try launching the game from ea or epic games launcher so if you're facing problem on steam in that case you can go to EA games over here. Now, once you go to EA games, you can search for the game and, and you can download it and you can launch the game from EA app. You can even uh, download the game on Epic Games Launcher and then try to, first of all, uninstall it or else it will detect the same game folder. So first of all, you uninstall the game from Steam, then you install it uh, on EA app or Epic Games Launcher and then check. And you can do the vice versa. So if you have the game on uh, like, EA, then you can try Steam or Epic Games Launcher, and then we can check. Now, the next step is to Steam users, make sure Steam account is linked to EA account. So you can go to uh, this EA website, and then you can log in. Now, once you're logged in, you can go to connected accounts and make sure your Steam account is linked to EA account, and then you can try to launch the game again. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So wherever you have the game, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. For EA app users, click on manage, and then you can click on view properties, go to open folder. And once you go to the game installation folder, you can just um, double click, make a, just double click and try to launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click go to properties and then put a check on the box go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok uh, you can even try different uh, mode over here windows 8 or windows 7 and then check you can even disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then you can launch the game try to launch the game as an administrator from here and you can even try this e anti-cheat game service launcher to launch the game make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So I'm using Windows security. So open Windows settings. If you're using Windows security, click on privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. 
Scroll down at the bottom, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Click on Allow an App Through Control for Access. Click on Yes to Allow. Click on Add an Allowed App, Browse All Apps, and then go to the Game Installation folder. So if you have the game on Steam, uh, you can open the game folder. Wherever you have the game, open the game folder. Select this exe file, EA Anti Cheat Service Launcher, also along with Skate. And then again, open Installer, EA Anti Cheat, select this and then open. Do the same thing. Now type in control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, change settings, allow another app, click on browse, and then again go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Now once the game is added, uh, you can put a check on uh, like, first of all, add the game, first of all, add the game, and then select this one also. And once you add it, uh, make sure that you put a check on public and private both. And for skate also, you can do the same thing. And then click on OK and then launch the game and then check. You can just uh, uncheck it if you want later on. Now the next step is to repair, update, uninstall or reinstall e anti cheat. Now for this, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see e anti cheat installer. Click on it, and then you have to run this exe file. Run this exe file. Now, click on yes to allow. And over here, scroll down and find skate. So here you can see installed skate. Select skate and then click on repair and then click on OK. Go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, open the game folder. Uh, select the skate folder, the complete skate folder over here and then click on select folder. Let the repair complete. Once the repair is success over here, install success. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to updates. Make sure skate is selected, then click on update. And during the update, uh, the EA anti-cheat installer uh, setup may restart. Once you see update success, now you can check. Still not working, select skate and then click on uninstall. And then again, click on install. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, uninstall it. And this do not install this time. Instead, you can go to EA app or Steam, wherever you, wherever you have the game and then click on play. And then you can launch the game. Now I click on yes to allow. During the uh, during the launch, it will actually install the EA anti cheat, and then you can check. Yeah. Next step is to repair or verify the game file. So let me close the game for now. now to repair, if you have the game on Steam, uh, make a right click on the game, go to properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is complete, launch the game. If you have the game on EA app, then you can go to EA app, and then you can click on manage over here, and then click on. You will see the repair option and then you can launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, open this link in a browser and download this x86 and x64. So click on it and run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once both are installed, and then restart the computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can check. Next step is to enable or disable Steam overlay. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. If enabled Steam overlay is off, turn it on. And then you can check. If this is already on, you can turn it off. Also go to Steam, settings, in game, and then make sure enable Steam overlay is on over here. And then you can try to turn on or turn off Steam overlay and then check. St Next step is to create a new admin account. So for this, you can open Windows settings, go to accounts, and then go to other users, and then click on add account. And then click on I don't have this person sign in information, click on it. And then you have to click on add a user without a Microsoft account. You can name it whatever you want. 
this is just an example enter the password if you want or if you don't want you can keep it blank and once the new account is created click on change account type and then you can set it to administrator click on ok and then you can log out and then you can log in lock it and then log in to the new account which you've created and then you can install the game and then launch the game next step is to unplug hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connect with the computer disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller any kind of dongle connect with the computer disconnect all the usb adapter dongle you can try vpn on or off and then check uh, disable overlay which we have already done uh, close the overlay application like if you have discord geforce experience any kind, kind of third party application or services running do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like ms afterburner revert you know remove the undervolt if you want to the computer and if you have these application running on a computer so make sure that you close these application or uninstall these application if you also have these kind of application running on a computer make sure that you close it and then try to relaunch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch the game successfully on your windows computer and the game should not be stuck on configuring so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel